St. Arnold Johnson, founder of three international religious congregations, born in 1837 in Glock, Lower Rhine, Germany. In this house, the Jansen family lived. Arnold's father, Gerard Jansen, was a delivery man. He transported goods from Glock across the border to the Dutch city of Nijmegen. Additionally, he had a small farm. His mother, Katharina Jansen, gave birth to 11 children. Arnold Jansen was the second oldest. The Jansen family lived a simple and modest life. Prayer was a part of everyday life. Father Gerard read the annual records of evangelization and showed great interest in the developments of the church in the world. He often spoke to his children about the church in other countries, about the missions in India, and the religious divisions in Germany. Young Arnold listened attentively. At evening time, the family rosary was always prayed. Every evening prayer closed with a prologue of the Gospel of John. Arnold Jansen pursues secondary education and finishes at the age of 18. He goes for studies to Münster and Bonn. His preferences are for mathematics and natural science. He wins a prize for a mathematical exam at the University of Bonn and receives the permission to teach at the secondary school. Afterwards, he studies theology in Münster and is ordained as a priest in 1861 at the age of 24. He teaches for 12 years at the secondary school of Bochot and helps in the pastoral care of the parish, St. George. Arnold Jansen gets to know the prayer apostolate and travels widely to promote it. He redacts prayers and booklets and becomes the diocesan director of the apostolate. His involvement with the prayer apostolate widens his awareness of the issues regarding the mission of the Universal Church. He leaves Bokholt in 1873 and becomes rector of the Ursuline Convent in Kempen. In order to raise awareness about the mission of the church, Arnold Johnson publishes the magazine, The Little Messenger. In the same year, he meets Monsignor Raimondi of Hong Kong and regrets that there is no mission house in Germany. Raimondi's answer leaves Arnold Johnson thinking, but how? Arnold Jansen is without resources. Besides that, a foundation in Germany is impossible. Those are troubled years. The politics of Bismarck and his Kulturkampf does not permit foundations of religious institutions in Germany. He has to cross the border to the Netherlands. Nobody and nothing is in his favor to start a mission house. He approaches the Bishop of Rormund. He is rather surprised and says to one of his priests, Can you imagine? He wants to found a mission house and hasn't a penny to his name. He is either a fool or a saint. But nothing can keep Arnold Johnson from his plans. It's God's will. With the help of donations, he buys an old barn in style. His intention to get the German-speaking Catholics involved in the world's mission finally leads him to the foundation of the Mission House in Style. On September 8, 1875, Arnold Johnson found St. Michael's in Style, the first German-Dutch missionary house. It is a very modest and difficult beginning. The people of Style in the vicinity help Arnold Johnson to establish the Mission House the first inhabitants of St. Michael's, Johann Anzer, Joseph Reinadimitz. Already in 1879, the first two Divine Word missionaries depart for China. Joseph Reinadimitz spends the rest of his life in China. He was canonized together with Arnold Jansen on the 5th of October, 2003. Arnold Jansen, a man who trusts deeply, believes unconditionally, and dares to make the apparent impossible possible. His work and effort bears fruit. No one expected this. Workshops are established and professionals prepared. 
Arnold Johnson founds his own printing press and promotes evangelization for mission through the media. His periodicals are known far and wide. Since 1882, women have been involved in the mission house. Their desire is a life given for the mission. Together with Helena Stollenberg and Andrina Stanmans, Arnold Johnson founds in 1889 the Missionary Sisters Congregation sister servants of the Holy Spirit, known as the Blue Sisters. Arnold Jensen opens style for retreats and recollections. Beautiful parks and grottos are developed. In 1896, the third congregation of style emerges, the sisters servants of the Holy Spirit, for perpetual adoration. A contemplative community known as the Pink Sisters. In St. Wendell, Germany, new mission houses develop. By the year of Arnold Johnson's death in 1909, 1,500 sisters, brothers, and priests lived and worked between the Netherlands, China, Italy, Argentina, Austria, Germany, Brazil, Togo, Papua New Guinea, USA, Chile, Japan, and the Philippines. What Arnold Johnson began in style continues today.